Welcome back to Resident Evil Village. Or, 8. You can't exactly see it, because... Surprisingly, Ethan's head is blocking the way from his disgusting hand. I thought I got a perfect shot, like, oh yeah, it's right here, and then just... Well, I mean, he is gonna bring in the film crew right after this. After he gets his daughter, you know. I hate the way he holds the knife, like, anybody drop this? <laughs> does this belong to anybody? It's like holding scissors from the wrong way. It's like, hey, does anybody need this? I've got a knife! Anybody need some stationary cut? <laughs> So this is actually really cool. This is something I enjoyed that they did in Biohazard. If it's blue, you have everything in the in the area. If it's red, there's still something in there. So, But what, they won't tell. Yeah, they won't tell you. Uh, another thing I really like is Ethan has a diary where he's been recounting this entire ordeal, and he has lovely hand-drawn pictures. It's a good thing he's right-handed, I guess. <laughs> Otherwise, his drawing career ruined. And then, of course, you know, you get the usual stuff. All the files, all the tips and everything. Uh, I believe I've already mentioned this, but we're going for all the files. We're getting everything in the game. This, just my modus operandi at this point. Uh, if, it, if the numbers on the pages seem inconsistent, it's because some files take up more than one page. That actually confused me. Yeah, but look at all these pictures that Ethan's been drawing. He's had a lot of free time. Chris Redfield picks up his uh, his discarded diary and it's like, well, here is... Oh. Ooh. What? Wow. This is really good. Damn, Ethan. I gladly give up my men for a, an amazing artistic ability. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? I immediately never up. trusted her. It's not safe. Well, I mean, how could you? She's carrying a staff of death hey, and a can you hear me? dream catcher that's missing its net. It's you. But I've played Resident 7. Fun. I don't really trust old people anymore. Hey, wait. I've seen the you visit. Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Also, this face is animated so well. She is in great danger. Since Mother the mocap in this game is fantastic. There are going to be some weird what things, but the, the RE engine for facial capture is just phenomenal. I've actually been learning a lot about the RE engine lately, and how it moves so smoothly when there is so much going on and being as good as it looks. I'll get into some specific scenes, but just know that every time it zooms into first person, Ethan's headless. He's reaching for the moon! It's what's called the Resi engine. I mean, the RE engine. <laughs> the Resi engine. So uh, another cool thing is her, uh, the old lady's model actually walks to an area that is completely invisible for you to see at this point. Uh, I actually watched her walking away in the first person view. And uh, yeah, she actually walks for quite a while before mysteriously disappearing into the village. Into an explosion of black worms. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, hmm. did, I didn't see that one coming. Well, I, yeah. Anyway, time to start looting. Nice. This is a very uh, economically distraught village, and he's stealing from these people? Well, I mean, they started it. The persona I'm giving Ethan for Resident Evil Village, because you can definitely tell as we get further on in the game, he throws a couple hissy fits, and I'd like to think... <laughs> I like to think he's doing this out of spite for the entire village. It's love for his daughter, I clearly. Know, I know, It's still funny to think. It's just like, well, oh, if you're doing like this, you can smash your windows. Oh, you can smash we all, we all live in agony. <laughs> Great lichens take our souls. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm an old lady. I got a nice thing with skulls on it. <laughs> yeah, well, I got something better. Look at this! And then he holds up his hand. It's like, yeah! I've got it worse. I still got my middle finger, so I can still flip you. Ow, ow, ow. ow. Ooh, tender, God. tender. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, if you look at the model of Ethan's hand, uh, there's a piece of bone sticking out of his ring finger. God damn. Oh, it's so freaky. I hate it when things happen to hands and fingernails, so this game's perfect for me. I'm trying to figure out the limits of gore for me. What's your limit? I d well, uh, it, it, it's context is a big part of determining that limit. <laughs> like I just saw a movie where uh, this this woman uh, chops off the limbs of an already deceased woman already, and the the the, the dummy that they use to stand in for this it's quite realistic. 
Is that, so that's not really what I'm screaming. Well, I mean, she's already dead, so she's not screaming. Right yeah. Thing, so there, there's that. I can't watch Hostel. Gotcha. I can't watch Hostel. I can't watch Human Centipede. Too much blood and shit in both the literal and the metaphorical sense. Makes sense. We all have our limits. We're also going to be uh, attempting to get all the gems in the game. I know where a lot of them are. Not all of them, but I'll be doing my best. I also had no idea... Because I played Village a couple times when it came out, and I didn't realize that there are contextual times when a lot of the village opens back up. So this part will only unlock on our second run through. If you can't get into some place, don't worry, you'll eventually get there. I do like the theme of coming back to this village mm -hmm. throughout the game. The big it, cha old, it, big changes, old it changes subtly every time. New stuff is added, the sky changes, doors open, doors close, things are added. It's lovely. And here's where we get to pissy Ethan. Oh yeah? Well, there you go. Suck that, Mother Miranda. Where's your wrath? Oh no! Oh, the wrath of the cynic! Oh no! 15 gamer score, no! <laughs> Mother Miranda! Well, anyway. Okay, this stumped me forever. I couldn't figure out what the trigger was for this. We'll get to it, don't worry. Yeah, I think I only ever did it once in my playthrough. It's kind of out of the way, so... You also can actually do it by accident. <laughs> Maybe that's how I did it. And so, then, when you can't do it, it's like, there, there's a oh, very yeah. small window. So, that's the one thing I can complain about Village. And Biohazard had very few of these. By the way, that's important. Uh, Biohazard had barely any points of no return. Village has a lot where you can be locked out of getting items. I think that's because of like the brevity of this, but that it also keeps the density. Right. Village is a very fast game, but not as fast as Biohazard. Biohazard has like half the stuff the Village has. But that's okay. They're both completely different games, different settings too. I cleared this in about 10 hours first time, I think. Sounds right. 10-12. I, I was looking at too much stuff and just, wow, everything's great. Yeah, I think mine was between 10 and 12. I took all the time I could just to check everything. But this was a well-crafted, stuck to the, you know, stuck to the brim, mm. 10, 12 hours, though. Now, what I do like is... Nothing's still anemic, except for one part. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> During the development of Village, clearly they were working on Resident Evil 4 Remake. You can tell by what is available in this game. The village itself is a big hint. Uh, yeah, I can see why they would want to test this first. To see if people would actually like it. But also to see if the RE engine could handle it. Because in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, everything's preset. Especially in 3, Nemesis is preset. He doesn't actually show up randomly like he did in the old game. So everything is... Perfectly set in place. Resident Evil 4 is a different beast. You get to come and go from different parts of the village, so I'm glad they made sure it worked here. And uh, we got a fun game out of the deal. Oh. Sorry. Oh, hey. Foreshadowing. Maiden Crest. Got whatever that is. Who is she? Who? Oh, actually, oh, who is she? Oh, I think that might be the Saponami Smother Miranda. Oh! And she's got four gremlins at her beck and call. How convenient. What? there's the other crest over at Louise's house. I think we should go there where the other survivors are. Sounds like a good way, but I like how organically it says that, though. That's true. Now, like, Ethan goes like, hmm, there's a house over there. I should go there. Like uh, a few other games that I might be able to name off. Oh, hey, it's the thing I need over there. A few other uh, AAA games like that, but I think, I think that's why I like the Resident Evil series because they because no, no matter how dumb or bad their decisions are, they go they go all in. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm good with that. I mean, every single Resident Evil game has had some moment that I can legitimately laugh at because comedy and horror go hand in hand. A uh, majority of the time, there's sometimes where it doesn't work at all. You, it's 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 about a tone. You got to be like smart and creative to blend those two well. You also have to know when you're being made fun of and making fun of yourself. Resident Evil does that really well. It didn't in six, 
It was way too serious for its oh, own good. Oh, there was there was no camp in that one. No, it was all serious, and that's that that's a serious killer. <laughs> we still make we still make jokes from Resi Five. <laughs> She's just a terrorist. End of story. That's one of the funniest things that's ever come out of our mouths. That's, that's been a, that's been a punchline we've been rolling on for years now, before even the Let's Play channel started. <laughs> Just because it's so freaking stupid. It's just the way he says it with such conviction. There are so many things in Resident Evil that I can quote that out of context, and even in context, are some of the stupidest things you've ever heard. And that's what I want from my horror series. You can play a series all you want. Give me that camp. Oh, there it is. All right. This, this series also has heart. I always think heart is the thing that always remains. Because yeah, when, you, when you watch a, a horror film and the, and the scares stop being scary, what do you have left? Well, you got heart. You watch a comedy film, the jokes stop being funny, what's left? The heart. God damn it, it's trying. It's not the best at its job sometimes, but it gets it done. I'm glad we live in a world where Resi 8 exists like this. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, uh... <sighs> been doing a bit of research on this game as well as the games that came before it. Mm -hmm. Because of this new... Uh, I don't want to say... Resident Evil Renaissance, because that just sounds stupid. Let's call it a rebirth. A new era. A new era. So, six came and went. Done and dusted. Get that out of the way. Biohazard comes along. Well, we've, we're missing some in between. We don't talk about the things in between. You're going to talk, talk about Revelations? It was a step. I think that was a... a mm, two steps forward, one step back, in my honest opinion. In my honest opinion, I think Resi Revelations was the best one since 5, especially after 6. Yeah, because it didn't have much competition. It, it didn't, but... <laughs> what do we have? Operation Raccoon City and... Mm. Yeah, some of the other crap they tried to pedal out. But, uh, you know how the Resident Evil games, there's almost been one every single year? Yeah, what, you wouldn't think it'd be an annual series, but... Whether it be multiplayer, or a numbered sequel... Except for one year. If you can believe there was a missed year... 2016? Nope. No, that was, that was rev, that was rev, so 2017 uh, is when Biohazard came out. Right, so that one's not Which it. Which year got missed with this new age of the RE Engine Resident Evil games? There's only been four. Uh, apart from the multiplayer games. 2018? You got it. 2018 was the missed year. Because, yeah, you're right, because Resi 2 was 2019, Resi 3 was, was 2020, 2020 Resi, and Resi 21. was 21. Yep. 22 is... Resident Evil 4! Oh, damn it. 22, I guess you could say, was Re uh, Shadows of Rose. It was the DLC plus uh, the multiplayer finally <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Reverse, yeah. Still haven't tried that yet. Uh, well, uh, you, you might need to get in there sooner rather than later because uh, it's already uh, having some trouble getting games together and, you know... I mean, I'm already juggling Nintendo Switch Sports and Splatoon 3. I can't, I can't throw this on there, too. We will be looking at Reverse because you get it for free when buying Village. Should have got it for free when I got it, now that I've already beaten it and moved on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they... You know, I'll give Capcom this. They let people try it first, and if it's crap, they promise to redo it. It was crap, so they redid it. Yeah, I mean, well... And it came out semi-decent, I'll give them that. I will give them an okay out of ten. Oh, hi. Not bad for free. You said he couldn't see us! Yeah! <laughs> you lied to us! Yeah, so this uh, this setup right here, I, I really like in a horror sense. Having things lost in a wheat field or a cornfield, whatever, and you can just barely see it. That's good stuff. Uh, Ow! Oh yeah, believe me, uh, going, through, going here for the, for the first time in first person mode, just like looking around, and then you see the cornfield or, or the wheat field. It's just and like you oh. see some things moving in there. You're like the rustling. No boy. Ow. No boy. Yeah, I really like this. The third person kind of ruins it because you can see more. Ow. Well, I always thought this game was supposed to be played in first person anyway. Definitely. Yeah, the third person. That's the whole reason we're doing this second playthrough. By the way, that's awesome. Couldn't do that in Biohazard. When you block specific attacks, you can push enemies away, and it's fantastic. If you're getting crowded, use that. Yeah, this is kind of this is kind of ruining the entire effect, unfortunately. But that's what I wanted to see. I haven't done third person yet. Might as well try it with a friend. You still have that added, you know, scope though, and there's like there's wheat that's in the way. <laughs> 
Yeah, even in third person where it's over my shoulder, wheat still gets in the way. I'm pretty sure both modes have their pros and their cons, but as a guy who really fell in love with the first person aspect, I, I, I prefer that. I'm just glad it's optional. I mean, can you imagine being like, okay, so 2 and 3 were third person, Resident Evil 4 is going to be third person, eh, fuck it, we're going to update Village and there you go, it's third person only. I wish they'd go back to the first person every so often. That wasn't too bad. I think for the numbered sequels going on, we're going to keep first person because it's been doing so well. But I think now third person is going to be an option in every game from now on. The remakes are going to stay third person because that's where they're supposed to be. That's where they feel more at home. Going into first person would just change a lot of things. I wouldn't do it. Especially if you're going to remake Code Veronica, please. But I don't think you can do Resi 7 in first person, or third person, though. You cannot. I, I don't think so. That, that never game got was added in. Specifically made for first person. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it was specially made for VR. Which this also has now, too. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Now, I'm going to steal a joke from you. Please. You always do. Whoa. Hello, okay. name's Ethan Winters. I'm not gonna hurt you. Recently widowed. <laughs> people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? Hey, Ethan Winters, recently widowed. How you doing? <laughs> hey, what's going on? When I, when I uh, played this on stream when it first came out, I, I, my, my joke was that Ethan was, you know, trying to hit on every single woman who he saw. I was like, hey, Ethan Winters, recently deceased. How you doing? <laughs> recently hey. deceased. Recently, well, I mean, <laughs> recently widowed. Recently, recently widowed. Wife recently deceased. How you doing? Hey, hey, wife's out of the picture. You want to join me, toots? One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have. You see any ring on this him. finger? Shh. You, do, you see any finger on this finger? I don't think so. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. If he actually like starts up going on dating websites and everything like that, it's just like, hey, I can only count to eight on two hands. So, uh, hey, what's going on? I can only count to eight, but trust me, eight's all you need. Hey. <laughs> oh. Anyway, sir, you want to give away your daughter to me? Just like the livestock you gave up to the lichens? Like he also sounds like a like a snake oil salesman too. I was just thinking that. Stop right up, only 25 cents! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to sell me your fingers for a dollar a piece? Thanks! This needs some other kind of item, so I think, well, what kind of item? And I get, you know, a key. I get... nah, then that doesn't work. And then I get. My family photo! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did that work? We're gonna get into a little bit more of pissy Ethan territory, but I also have another running gag that that still holds true going from Biohazard to Village. This is why we can't play Silent Hill, because they're, they're <laughs> quiet and contemplative yeah. and not funny at all, and the, here I think we're making jokes and the, the game is laughing with us too. The, I like to think that Ethan is such an unlucky bastard that his luck spreads to people around him. So nothing good happens to anybody when Ethan's involved. It's the Frank Westa effect. Come on, it's a little clear. bit. The second he shows up, oh, that's when the mall falls. Oh, okay, I get you. Mm, yeah, go figure. <sighs> Took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, I did. I had to look for collectibles. <sighs> Do you not see the camera behind me? We're live right now. You're on candid camera. L live? It, oh my god. We'll be safe in here. This is being live streamed? Safer here than out there. That's and you sure. see Ethan go, <laughs> she just turns the hey. camera around and looks like, Be sure to no, like and subscribe here. Around. God, I hate that. It hey, it's your boy, Ethan Winters. <laughs> just <laughs> lost two of my fingers. Oh, What's going on? It's like, that is so insane. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Be sure to hit the bell, and maybe I'll lose the other three. Hey, if give the, if this gets 7,000 likes, I'll get co cosmetic surgery to get the fingers back. <laughs> <laughs> the, the vine boom. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! The familiar Elena. voice wasn't your father? Oh. Stop shouting. You'll draw the Is there monsters. something at the end of my gun? You look too. Stay back. <laughs> oh, hold on, just let me look down the barrel. Thank you, Leon. Let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? 
These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on. What do you mean, these people? Oh, wait, you were actually being sincere. I enjoy this scene. This is very good. This is a great setup for the crushing no. dread you're going to feel for the rest of, I mean, the, of the game. This also gets to show off the mocap and its actors. I said go! But I want to shoot the gun at strangers. And so do I. Come inside, Ethan. God, the inflections. Those were all realistic. Like, I believe this. Wait here. I'll check on the other There's so some mo all the lighting. There is some mocap that is just like, okay, nah. Alright, so we are now in a set piece. Awesome. Do not touch my typewriter! <laughs> Why do you have a typewriter? Oh, don't worry about it. Actually, it makes more sense to have typewriters here than it would at our house. I'll work in no play makes Louisa a dull girl. I'll work in no... <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I gotta go! Tick, 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 uh, tick, 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 uh. tick, tick, tick. The lights go dark, and then when they come back on, it's just like there's writing all over the walls. Oh, God! So, a little technical thing I love about the RE engine. Do you know why she goes and checks on the other people? Probably going to load. Yep, that was a loading zone. <laughs> but it gave it a story reason. My, my favorite loading zone is later in the game, though. I'll let, I'll let you know when it pops up. I might know what you're talking about. There's a lot of really good ones, but that's how you mask these things. See, when we're doing Metroid Prime 2, yeah. and a lot of their loading zones are covered up by, you know, a door needing a little couple extra seconds to open an elevator. In here, they actually give a story reason as to why you need to wait on certain things. It's to, it's to make it seem more more organic. It's seamless. Come inside, the yeah. others are waiting. See, I love that, because now that I know how the RE engine works and how it uh, reduces using all of its resources, it's phenomenal where you can pinpoint, it's like, oh my god, that's where it's happening, or that's where it's happening, it's great. Like the lighting of this room as well. It's very nice. So, yeah, this is this is basically the Resi 8's version the of the village. dinner scene from Resi 7. <laughs> this is where things start going wrong. I love the lighting here. The, the fire in the back is just just it's just funny excellent. You, it's funny you mention that because this guy's actually drinking Jack's favorite beer. Oh <laughs> my Same model and everything. And you, Dolvy beer, baby. Like a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing, and expect to be all safe. What's the worst that could happen? No safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. Actually, I've only been ripped in two. Oh. Have been ripped into eight! <laughs> <laughs> oh. No one's laughing, but he keeps laughing. <laughs> Just, the, the awkwardness washes over it. <laughs> like many a waves drowning a young child. ...has protected my family for generations. And drunk... Or not. Just really bad jokes. Yeah, generations. Monster Hunter generations! <laughs> Two more minutes. <laughs> Capcom, you and your self-referential <laughs> bullshit. I mean, what? Yes, we were a quiet, devout village. Resident Evil village! <laughs> He's shot. <laughs> Bang! Oh, Yulian, you came back! <laughs> Where is your husband? So, uh, we got some really good world building here. I mentioned this also in the first person mode, but this, all of this, all of these monsters attacking and the village going into high alert, this just happened. This isn't a build up where, you know, people have been slowly disappearing. No, this is almost a finger snap fast where everybody has been dying. Yeah, I wonder what was the catalyst of that. Oh, I think I know, but I'll leave it to the audience to figure that out if they've never seen it before. For some reason, I feel it's that beefcake's fault. Mm. Isn't it always his fault? Yeah. It's like saying Beetlejuice in the three times. It's like, he just appears. You say Chris Redfield three times, you lose your family. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we had to. No! Why? <laughs> This is recompense from losing his men. It's like every time somebody says my name, I'll make you lose your family. It's like, why are you doing this? He's like, let it go. Just come off it. For some reason, the thing that popped in my head is when, when Ethan's going through biohazard, he goes, where's my wife? I don't know, just the crossing of Chris Redfield and Ethan looking for Mia is just making me laugh. 
Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is witch. You ever seen a bag of rats? It's actually quite intelligent. Yeah, about and 17 rats can at least type one thing on a typewriter. <laughs> it was the best of times. It was the rats, 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 rats. Uh -huh. And kicking off. One down. Oh, woo! So, wow. there, so there goes one. Now, keep track of how many people die very quickly in this room. So push you back. The guy on the crutches, gone. And lady right here. And... Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, yeah. The, oh, that'll do it. Yeah, okay. The guy with the beer bottle, I think, got pushed back and died. So, uh, hey, can we talk about this? Ah! Excuse me. Sir? Sir? Freeze. I said freeze! Uh, hey, you found a shooty bang weapon. I said no! Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Father. I mean, I'm just wondering where the action movie mentality came from. You did the right thing. I think it came from four being more tense. They kind of no, ranked that no. up a bit in five, which people were kind of, you know, mixed about. This then they went full ham in things. six, yeah. and everyone just rejected that outright. See, this is Elena. This is why you don't play Resident Evil Six. Otherwise, you just bring a shotgun and shoot gone. your dad. Oh, well, I mean, you gotta bring your shotgun. You gotta bring your pistol. You gotta bring your machine gun. You gotta bring your sniper rifle. You gotta bring your your, your grenades. You gotta bring. And your quick time events too. Okay, what? 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 Waggle the sticks. Yep. Anyway, uh, let's. Uh, I, I love Ethan's. Uh, Ethan. 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 That's a beautiful effect. That is that is fantastic fire. Yeah. So th yeah, they wouldn't give you a game over just because you're no st staring there, staring at the fire. Just going, <gasps> whoa! Look at the graphics. Uh, yeah, it gradually uh, gradually gets worse. And what I think is cool is going in the technical side. Guess where the loading zone for the next part is? It's probably beyond that one because we're, we're gonna drive through there. If we could just get through this wall. If only we could get through the wall. Oh, by the way, easily missable green herb that's actually easier to find in third person. A lot of the items that are well hidden, because, you know, you're supposed to be going through through this in first person, they show up a lot easier in third person. You have a greater detail in first person, but you right. have a reduced scope. Again, pros and cons. Ooh, okay. And so here we go. We got the truck key, and this is your tutorial on how to examine items to get something else out of them. There's a screwdriver in there. Let's hey, go what's take that? It. Ah! How did this go through my hand? And that was your loading zone. Picking up the screwdriver just changed everything in the other room. And just to make sure, because we're about to hit a point of no return, make sure you have everything. I mean, this house is kind of burning down. I don't think it's going to be here for much longer. I know, but... Yeah, look at that. Smoke has been added, more fire. Great transition. And nobody even noticed because it was behind gameplay. The fire's moving fast. It will it will be at this point when you get the get the truck key though, I know that much. Correct. Alright, here we go. This is awesome. <laughs> Why don't you drive, boy? Step back. We sit in the back. driver's seat and punch the wheel! Mind if I join in? <laughs> he learned a few things from Jack. Let's go for a ride! <laughs> Let's go, boy! Just drive like a maniac. That's all you gotta do. Here we go! Hit the gas! Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh! Oh. Alright, we're doomed. Mother! <laughs> oh, sorry! I was just thinking that. Even when I was playing through this for practice, I was like, was Elena out of the war? You alright? Now, I don't understand this. Car falls over and then goes right back up. Did Elena do that, or did the truck naturally jump back up because Ethan was in the driver's seat? It might, it might be that, because when we roll over, he could have, like, you know, like, pushed back yeah, oh, down. Right. And just, uh, shove yourself over just to put it back. He's at the top of it, so if you push, it would create the maximum torque to get him back on there, but right. he's probably not going to be moving that again. Engine's like, whoa, that's not good. I'm hey, now. Here. Hurry. 
I also love the fact that there was no windshield in there. I don't think I even saw it break during the animation when we drove into the wall. Mother Miranda says windshields are the devil. Don't worry. Try not to <laughs> That's how we've been protected the entire time. Mother Miranda is my windshield. Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> Sounds like a, like a really good poem. It's like... <laughs> Mother Miranda. My, my dear, my love, Once my everything. Here, you'll get to meet you are my windshield. <laughs> for when I, for when reality comes crashing at a hundred miles an hour, you are there to protect me. Whenever I drive 120 miles down the highway of life, there you are, catching all the flies. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very toxic poem. Eh? <laughs> when, there, when in the rain, <laughs> y your protection stops the water <laughs> droplets the from get from getting into my car. <laughs> Too many. Hey. Okay, sure. Don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. What my safe house? She's in that old castle. No. You know, the safe house with the typewriter. And I don't want to be alone Nothing ever you. bad happens in typewriter houses. Now, I actually love it that even the villagers know, know that the castle is not nothing him. but not death anymore. and despair. He said my name. Father! Wait, it's not safe! Wait, uh, uh oh. Um. Okay, so he does the smart thing by actually going over to stable ground where he can actually you save her. You're right, he has been reading his books. Yeah. He does everything right. Ethan, go. But she says no. Save your daughter. Lena. And there goes Dad. Reach for me. Who you can actually see in the fire still. God damn it. <sighs> Great. Now I'm twice widowed. Why is everyone dying on me? And thus, Ethan's bad luck has spread to the rest of the villagers who are all now dead. Just that was the last bad. villager. Oops. It's not really much a village now, then, is it? It's more like a ghost town. We can't get an eight out of there somehow. Maybe if you have, like, those weird, you know, <laughs> weird G's, you know, the lowercase G, you can maybe... If we can somehow get an Arabic a morph a Disney G or a backwards D, I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's Walt Disney presents Resident Evil Village. Oh, the village is empty. I know, I saw them go into the village. That terrible village that they live in. This okay, this is bad. my favorite. This place has gone mad. Wait for it. Why the fuck is this happening? Ow! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I, God. Ah. You know, he's been quite nonchalant about the whole missing fingers thing. I'd still be, you know, cussing up a storm at the fact that this happened. So, Mr. Winters, uh, the pain in your hand. Yeah? Uh, how would you rate that pain on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> Eight! Ah! <laughs> oh! Goes on for <laughs> seven minutes at least. Or eight minutes! <laughs> you can just, just, just an echo in the village. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, there is a villager left. <laughs> Not anymore. And all of that, we had to kill the rest of the villagers in order to get a screwdriver. Well, the end justify the means, you know, like I always say. Hey, but I needed this for my daughter, don't you understand? I'm gonna go break and enter. There we go, we got the two crests. Now we can enter the castle. But, uh, you know what? I think we should praise the graphics a little bit and take a look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Wow. Next time on Resident Evil Village, we're gonna go into the castle, okay? Fire burning, fire burning. Fire burning, fire burning. That light can burn in on the dance floor. Whoa! Whoa. Somebody call 811. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ethan, never change.